Forget the trunk monkey. I'm Big Tom from, Ken from Paddock Chevrolet in Kenmore, New York. I'm here to show you the all new 2011 Chevrolet Cruze. Hey Joe, look at all these uh, cruises we have here. Come on. Actually, forget it. I'm probably going to have a heart attack if I do that. Uh, let's take a look at the different trim levels we have here. Uh, the, the 2011 Chevrolet Cruze um, is a new car in the, the States. It's been around for a, a few years in Europe, but it's a new car. It's replacing the Cobalt. Uh, just the main reason is uh, GM wanted to compete with Honda and Toyota. Um, as you can see, we'll start out at the engine. <clears throat> It's a 1.8 Ecotec, uh, gets 138 horsepower. As you can see in the engine as well, there's a lot of material for sound dampening, which uh, a lot of the competitors do not have. Um, just a way to cut out some of the noises. <clears throat> We're going to take a look at the inside of it. Uh, You'll see it's 16-inch uh, tires to start out with uh, steel covers. Uh, one of the cool things about the Cruise is it does come with a lot of standard features that a lot of the competitors don't. Um, you will see power windows, power locks, <clears throat> daytime running lights. Uh, it's got a really good uh, looking interior. Uh, that's one of the things that sets it apart from a uh, Toyota or a Honda. Uh, it's got a two-tone uh, cloth seat in the LS. Um, also, this particular model comes with a connectivity package, which gives you a USB port, Bluetooth, and a leather-wrapped steering wheel. Um, let's take a look at the actual uh, seating in it. One of the things with the Cruze is the, uh, the amount of room in it. It is a compact car, but the interior is more like a midsize. So let me just show you something. I'm 6'5", 400 pounds. Uh, I don't fit in anything. But let me show you how much room I have in this. So as you can see, I have uh, my leg room is uh, pretty good. I, can, you know, I'm, I got lots of room. The steering wheel is tilt or telescopic, um, so it does come out towards you or uh, up and down. Um, so as you can see, there's a lot of room in here. Let me uh, show you the back. As you see the, the rear, um, it's got a lot of room in it. Uh, it does have 60-40 split, so both seats go down for trunk path access. And let me show you how easy it is. Basically, you just want to move the seat belt and just push the button, and they, they just fold right down, both of them. So, uh, Let's take a look at the room, room in the trunk once more without me in it. One thing they did with this compared to the Cobalt is they made the opening wider. One of the complaints on the Cobalt was a smaller opening. So they did open that up for you. Lots of room in there. Uh, yeah. So that is the trunk. So that's a basic cruise. Let me go with the, to the LT and show you the differences uh, from the vehicle. Uh, a lot of the differences is mainly cosmetic. One thing you're going to notice right away is that the mirrors are painted to match the vehicle where they're plastic on the LS. So they're painted to match. Another thing you will get on the LT is the engine's going to be the 1.4 liter turbo. And let me show you that real quick. So basically it looks the same, but it is a turbo engine. Um, they do put a lot of the sound dampening material in here. Uh, it is one of the quietest rides in its segment. <clears throat> So that's, that's underneath the hood. Uh, another difference from the uh, cru LS Cruise is the uh, interior is straight black. So it's one color. Um, <clears throat> uh, 
Uh, other than that, the, the interior is really very similar. It's not a whole lot different. Under the back. Now all the uh, cruises do have uh, 10 airbags. And that's one of the new safety uh, features on the cruise. Um, 10 airbags. You're, like, you're probably asking yourself, where the heck do they put 10 airbags? Well, basically, there's a driver, a passenger. Uh, you got the head, seat, and now there's knee ones. So there's 10 total airbags, and that's more than any of the competitors. Uh, <clears throat> let's show you the 2LT. Now, when we go to a 2LT, uh, there's not going to be much difference on the exterior except for the wheels. The rim on the tire is going to be an actual rim, so it's not a cap. When we get inside, that's where we're going to see the main differences. There's going to be leather. It's going to have heated seats. <clears throat> it's also going to give you a remote starter. Uh, you can also get a, available as navigation. Um, it comes with a navigation screen with hard drive, which is all something you can add as an option. Those come with uh, Bluetooth and cruise control, and it's pretty loaded up. From there, we go to to the final one, which is an LTZ. Uh, and when you look at the LTZ, the one main difference is going to be the wheel. Again, it's going to be a five-spoke rim. Uh, <clears throat> and when we go inside. Again, it's going to be leather with heated seats, remote starter, Bluetooth, cruise control. It's going to give you a USB port. Uh, and we got hundreds of these things, guys. Look, you can't even see where they end. No one in our competition has anything close to what we have. That's why we are the number one Chevrolet dealership in the country in passenger vehicles. Uh, the, the gas mileage on these, they get up to uh, uh, close to 40 miles per gallon on the highway. So one of the, the big draws to it is the gas mileage. Uh, so that's basically our trim levels here. We got the LTZ, the 2LT, the LT, and the LS. It's a lot of stuff to remember, I know, because I have to learn it. And it's, it can be confusing, but I can help you with it. Just give me a call uh, at uh, Paddock Chevrolet. Ask for Big Tom, uh, phone number 362-7663, extension 304. Thank you.